11. It's going good. Got this room clean, cleaned up the floor, got all the grout off. We washed out the grout and put the walls on. That's next, but it's looking good. Looking good, looking good, looking good. We'll look better with the walls. And again, this wallpaper won't always be here either. It will come together. Still pretty happy about that base. I think that's going to be good. Okay, here we go. Made a mistake. Uh, frustrating one. I assumed, and what was I thinking? I assumed that the walls were level. You know, I've got this beautiful level. Now the base I built, good, level. The wall, no. Oh, let's see if I can show it to you. Flip it over here. <clears throat> no, not anywhere close to level. It's way over. And so what that means is that when you put this thing up, there's like a huge gap. So um, we'll see. We we'll saw we're gonna fix this. There's always a way to fix it. Now, one good thing is that um, they've maybe accounted for a little bit of this with their brackets. They have like a solid three millimeters, maybe even four uh, of gap. So that means that if it's out of plumb, like if it's angled, you know, it can, it'll cover some of that. So hopefully that's gonna help us, but uh, we'll, we'll keep going. <laughs> Okay, here I just had a couple shots of me working and there happened to be music in the background which generated a copyright claim. So I had to delete the, the music. So just imagine nice music while I'm working away, doing some caulking. And here you can imagine <laughs> more nice music while I'm pulling up, putting up the bracket. I think I swept too soon. I mopped too early. Yeah, this bracket went in pretty good. I uh, got it cinched in there nice and nice and tight, and then got some caulking on it. I think it'll be pretty stable. Good design. I mean, the fact that it's so deep allows you to, you know, work with some of the fact that the walls aren't plumb. All right, we're gonna we're gonna cook up some eggs here while we uh, while we let that silicone dry. This is fun. Leslie showed me this. I don't know if it was Gordon Ramsay or it's one of those chefs that said the right way to do eggs is to keep stirring them vigorously the whole time, and then they you don't overcook them. Well, we'll see. Okay, here we go. Nice little, nice little lunch. We got uh, one croissant split in half, three eggs, and one little tiny potato, and a nice lemon tea, good for the kidney stones and also for the cold. Yeah, if you do the math on that, so I don't know, maybe ten cents for the potato and thirty-six cents for three eggs. 50 cents for the croissant and then i don't know cheese maybe 20 cents um so you know not very much what is that it's about a buck yeah good good cheap meal it'll taste good okay it actually went in pretty good i mean it was hard it was definitely slower with the i'm surprised how long it took me but it, it took uh, quite a while with the walls being so out of plumb but we got her in and uh again one piece of the pie now my wife leslie the decorator she says that you should never show a project halfway, halfway done. Like never let people in until you're done because uh, what will happen is people will come in and like, oh, that doesn't look very good. Uh, if they don't understand what's going to, what the final product will be. And so I kind of recognize as I'm sitting here and thinking, oh, you know, it looks all right. But um, yeah, I guess you're, you guys are coming along with us on the journey. So you're just gonna have to be patient, but there will be a day when this will look awesome. And every bit's a small piece. This is a small piece. Okay. Then we're going to do Amy's shower, and we're going to do this one. So I got 29, 29, uh, I bought them out basically, 29, um, whatever those are called, pads. Should be, should, should look great. It's going to be an inset with, a, I guess, a 7 by 30 millimeter order. If we can find the 7 by 30 millimeters. It's like a long subway. The border, it's either this guy. Or maybe this guy. I'm not sure. Leslie uh, said the white one, the right dimension, but I'm not sure which of the two she wants. Hopefully she wakes up. Hopefully she's awake and I can ask her. Okay, I've had a couple friends, European friends, recommend this. It's apparently, here it is. 
it's like a butane heater so it burns like real fire but it runs off a butane tank which are not too expensive here we've got two of them for the stoves and it's only 139 dollars i think i might try it i've been cold a long time Gotta be honest, not a big fan of eating like at seven or even later. I'm starting cooking at seven, but we had to get all this stuff. It's so dark, eh? You wouldn't even know there's a house there. Yeah, there is a house there. I actually really like that. The light pollution is really low. It seems like in France, I see lots of I see lots of stars normally. The place we were in uh, a couple of years ago when we rented the chateau for the study abroad was um, uh, they had a they had a thing where um, all the lights in the town, like every single light, went off at midnight, like all the street lights, everything, and it was so cool. It was so cool. I'm not gonna lie, that was a bit freaky. People ask me all the time, "Are you scared living in a chateau by yourself? Is it haunted?" I say, "No, it's not haunted." And I'm not scared, generally. Though I just heard a lot of animals. It's completely dark, I got out of the car and I think it was birds. Though, wild boar? Yeah! Well, I'm inside, I kinda ran for the door a little bit. But here I am, safe and sound. All right, made it through another day safely. I uh, hope everybody has a good sleep. I'll see you tomorrow.